Today I am out trying out my chair blind. It is a like one of the folding chairs and it has a, <clears throat> a canopy that pops up over the top of it. It's really easy to use. Um, I got it at Academy for about 85 or 90 bucks. <clears throat> but uh Anyway, I come out to my feeder. I'm not hunting. I just want to watch, see what's coming up, and uh, see if I can tell them about what time they're coming in right now, because we're getting closer to season, so I want to be ready and be prepared. So, um, I'll try to show you a picture of this blind before I pack it up. It's pretty cool, though. First time I've ever had it out. I'm going to see how good Six months since the feeder went off. I saw the one deer. I'm gonna try to zoom in. There There's a clearing. You can't really tell it with this. There's a clearing. <laughs> to the right of the feeder, and it goes way back in the little opening. And it crossed way. All right, y'all, so there it is from the outside. Uh, just a one-man hunting vessel. Um, got five windows, like I was saying, real tree camouflage. Um, pretty cool, I thought. Nothing came out while I was sitting today, but I don't know. Maybe the colder it gets, the hungrier, hungrier they will get. And uh, maybe once they, right now they're chasing doe. I've seen them already chasing doe, so. But we'll see. 
to give it time. But I really just wanted to come out this evening and try out the blind just to see how comfortable it was and all that. And I got to say, not too shabby. The front right here zips up and down. So, and you just fold it back like that. And it basically, uh, fold it back like that. And it's basically, there's no assembly or anything. You just, uh, basically plop that over the top, that the canopy over the chair. And then you, uh, this down. Basically you fold the chair up like you would, you know, these normal, normal style chairs. Over here and here. And it has this strap right here. It goes all the way around it. And you just zip it up right to the bottom of it. You go around the whole thing. Like so. together like that, like that into there, it comes with a bag, it's a backpack, put the legs in the top end first, So now I'm walking out of here. Um, I've got to come up with a better setup in the next week or so of getting in here and getting set up because uh, I was pretty noisy coming in. A lot of cat claws and crap that you scrape on. So anyway, I'm gonna make my way out of here. All right, after I put my stuff in the truck and I was Getting ready to leave, three doe crossed right in front of my pickup. And uh, my windshield's dirty, <laughs> but uh, I tried to catch a little glimpse of them. So I'll put it in here. I mean, you probably won't be able to see it or see them, but uh, anyway, I tried. But anyway, I was on my way out. <clears throat> the sun's already set and uh, was just finishing packing everything in the truck and, and they come walking by. So definitely deer here. Um, like I say, I, I probably spooked them when I was coming in because uh, I just went, just took off through the cat claw and was scraping and bumping and wasn't really you know trying to be all that quiet plus i went to the feeder to check the corn in it to make sure it still had plenty and uh also i 
um, put the put another memory card in my game camera. So I did all that. So honestly, I you know I'm not surprised that nothing came to the feeder. But uh, anyway, it is what it is, yo. So there's something out here walking around. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. I want to ask you to please like and subscribe and become a part of the herd. Until next time. Whoop, whoop.